This is the fourth in a series of videos that high school student intern Oliver Schradel has created to provide more information about the facility projects being proposed as part of the April 2nd school referendum. Oliver took a tour of the Holum Education Center located at 520 East Holum Street in DeForest. He toured the facility with custodian Doug Powell and business manager Kathy Davis, who described several of the building issues that exist. The center, also referred to as HEC, currently houses the district administrative offices on the upper level, with the technology and maintenance departments on the lower level. A classroom is also rented out to a 4K provider. To address the aging Holum Education Center facility, which is not cost effective to update and operate, the plan calls for closing the building and moving district administrative offices to a portion of the middle school and moving the district maintenance operations to the new intermediate school site. This used to be the primary entrance to the building. Uh, since we added the entrance down there for wheelchair accessibility to the main floor, this building, this entrance has now been blocked because of the stairs coming into it. Also additionally outside is the roof to our boiler room that is a concrete slab that is starting to uh, splay or fall apart. Also up here you'll notice the cracking on our wall where this wall portion here is tipping this way. Um, there's multiple spots in this hallway where you can see where we're taking constant measurements to check the, the uh, cracks expanding. There's stairs throughout this building that create a huge issue with our ADA accessibility. We do not have access from one floor to the next for someone who might have a wheelchair or cane. We also have problems with our stairs being old. They are not up to code. The railing height is not the height that they are supposed to be. Um, it's just a dangerous situation. Okay, so another problem we have in this building is our drainage coming off of our roof. Uh, since we have a flat roof, we have drains up on top that run down through our walls. Well, the drains aren't big enough to meet our main drain, which exits out on, on Holm Street. So what happens is they back up, and then the water will come out onto the floor. That happens on uh, the first floor in multiple spots where the drains are running inside the back wall. So an issue we have on the outside of our building is our aging concrete sidewalks. Uh, multiple sections are starting to sink uh, just over time, causing problems with puddling of water on them, also causing possible trip hazards for the kids. This sidewalk is used every day for the uh, New Horizons High School, which goes to gym class every day. So the kids are up and down the sidewalk every day, and as you can see, multiple sections are failing. Currently, our bleachers are no longer in use because they don't meet the state code requirements for safety and for standards. Uh, we also have storage in this place. We use this often for our kids from our alt school program, as well as our, um, some of our 4K meetings and some other childcare things that we have during the week. Um, but not ideal with conditions of the room, um, still usable, but definitely aged and in need of repair. So this is the entrance to our boiler room here at the uh, DO and HEC. A few of the issues we're having with uh, our boiler heating system uh, and the room itself um, our steam pipes which run underneath the building in a series of tunnels. Uh, there's multiple leaks in those which are in spots that are inaccessible to people uh, in some cases. Uh, we're losing uh, 40, 50, 60 gallons of water a day through steam leaks. Uh, the boiler itself is so old that uh, parts are no longer available for it so we're um, band-aiding it as much as possible. Um, the room itself there's multiple spots where the ceiling is uh, failing as far as the beams, are, uh, the concrete beams are cracking, uh, the ceiling itself, uh, concrete is falling from it. So another issue here at Holland is our aging bathrooms that are currently used by some 4K students. There are urinals that do not work. Um, we have boxed those areas off to no longer get parts from them. We also have sink leakage issues, uh, missing tiles, just overall general conditions very poor. It, definitely doesn't meet ADA requirements of today's standards. Alright, so another issue here at the Holm Center is our uh, roof, which is failing in multiple spots. It's an aged rubber roof um, that's well past its life expectancy. Um, we're constantly having to come up here and patch. Uh, this is just from two days ago when the snow was melting. Uh, we had a pretty major leak in the stairwell down below us right now. Um, multiple patches here and here, and as you can see, the coating on the roof itself is failing right here. For additional videos, as well as information about the planning process and proposed solutions, financial information, frequently asked questions, and more, please visit www.dasdreferendum.org. 
or point your smartphone at the QR code.